How about creating some nice animation effect to your content created using the Gutenberg WordPress editor like this uh, that I'm showing you. I'm excited to share a new extension added to the Editor Plus plugin that allows you to create animation effects to any uh, Gutenberg code block. So make sure you install the Editor Plus plugin and I'll show you how it works. So once you install and activated this plugin, make sure you go to your WordPress backend and from the settings menu go to the Editor Plus uh, page where you can see all the extensions uh, available in the Editor Plus plugin. Currently we have a styling extension, uh, CSS custom CSS editor, blocks, extension icon extension and this new one which is says animation extension. So make sure uh, this is enabled all the extensions uh, available are enabled by default but you can individually disable anyone you are not you do not need to use so so that just make sure the animation extension is enabled for you which is enabled by default now let's see how easy it is to add animation to your content so here is my page which i just showed you earlier so let's try to add some animation effect to our content so i'll select this paragraph or this headline block basically and all these extension panels are uh, all these additional panels that you see are added by the editor plus which has a prefix of plus so you see this new animation panel added recently in this updated version 1.9.0 so if when you enable this on any core block uh, you can define custom animations. So currently we have a uh, fade, slide, bounce, zoom, flip, fold, and roll animations that you can apply. So let's apply the slide animation on for this headline and for the direction I would like to animate it from top and I will uh, keep the duration to one second. There is no delay needed and the repeat animation repeat to once. So we, I can also test this animation, uh, play this animation using this animation player right here, which shows you uh, the timeline as well. As you can see, zero second to one second. So that's it. Uh, I've applied the slide animation to the headline. Let's uh, apply another animation to my uh, second headline as well. I'll keep it to slide as well, but this time I'll change the direction to up and i will add a delay of one second so just to make a nice effect uh, like this first the uh, first and the first headline will appear from top and then the second headline will appear from the bottom like this like this so this is why i'm adding the animation delay to one second um, that's it and now you can see the animation player shows that so one after one second the animation triggers like this next we have the button block and i will apply this uh, another zoom animation for this and i will put the delay to three seconds because one second is the animation for this content then this will animate after one second and takes the duration of one second and then i need this to do animate so i will set the delay to two seconds so these both uh, appears and then I want this to appear so I'll set the animation to do and make it a zoom effect and if I play this as you can see animation triggers here uh, after the two second so that's that's it this is how easy it is to apply animation to any of your content uh, in the Gutenberg core block using the editor plus plugin now let's quickly apply animation to our sections as well so I'll select the whole group and I want this to appear as a slide up and keep the defaults as it is so I don't apply this animation to this section I just for for the sake of this demo now these all are the column layout with three columns so I can also apply animation to individual columns because column uh, this is a columns block and I want to apply the animation to individual columns so all the content in the column slides up 
so I'll just need to select the individual column and go to the animation choose the slide or any animation for that for that matter and keep the animation to uh, zero delay to zero and other options by default now for this I will again select the column animation slide slide up and this time I will make the delay to one second because I want this to appear first and then this and then this so one uh, second delay for this one and you can play it like this and then for the, this last column I will apply the same slide up animation and the delay to two seconds so one second for this to two second for this and then from the third second it will appear like this as you can see animation triggered here so this makes it just keep updated and this makes it work like this as you can see okay the section appears there is no animation effect on this section and then these animations work like this so this is how the animation effects work and how easy it is to create animations using the animation extensions extension available in the editor plus plugin hope you like it please do not forget to leave a review or to our, to the wordpress repo if you like the plugin and please pass your feedback to me uh, to what features you want to see in in this plugin thanks for watching take care bye bye